What is up, I'm Efforts. Hope you guys are having a great freaking day. I'm super jacked for today's video. If you guys watched a couple weeks ago, I went and toured the Do It Molds facility. If you're not familiar with Do It Molds, they make every freaking tackle making, fishing tackle making product that is like you could possibly think of. Stuff to make plastic baits, stuff to make hard baits, stuff to paint things, make your own jigs, any different level, uh, as well as a bunch of hooks and, and bulk packaging of all different types of components. And of course they hooked me up with a whole bunch of stuff so I could go make some tackle making videos for you guys. If you saw the thumbnail and the description of this video, uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing today. We're making some soft plastics. I'm gonna run you through a tutorial of how to make your own soft plastic fishing lures at home. You know, this is something I wasn't that sure how to do in the past. And I was a little bit nervous about it because it can be very, very dangerous, but it's actually super simple. So first step, I'm gonna show you guys everything you're going to need, um, some stuff that's absolutely necessary and some stuff that maybe will just help you out along the way. And then we'll start making our own soft plastic lures. It's gonna be a fun one, let's do it! All right, MFers, let's dive right on into making some soft plastic lures at home. Why do you guys like the jig fishing, make your own jig fishing videos? And you've been requesting this for a very long time, so I'm so jacked to finally bring it to you. And of course, everything that I show you right here, I'm gonna link right down below, except, you know, like the microwave. I hope you know where you need a microwave. But yeah, you can just click the links down below, go purchase some stuff for yourself so you can make these. Uh, do a mold supports the channel, so I'd love if you supported them as well, of course. But yeah, this right here is, uh, this is really all you need to get started. It might look like a lot, it might not look like very much. Um, to me, it's not really that much. Uh, first thing, of course, you're gonna need Plastisol. I know, big shocker, you need Plastisol to make plastic baits. I think this is like the uh, couple quart size. Yeah, this is a pretty good size, pretty good amount of Plastisol. We'll get into the, the important steps before we actually start pouring in just a second. Um, safety thing, this is absolutely necessary. This is not an option. Gloves, gloves with rubber on the inside, whatever is gonna protect your hands because when you're dealing with this super, super hot plastic salt, you do not want to get it on you. I've done it, it's not fun. Another must, if you're gonna have injection molds like these guys right here, you are going to need an injector. There are hand pour molds, we'll kind of get into that in a little bit too, um, but we're gonna be injecting all our plastics that we make today. So, injector, of course. You want some different types of flakes. You know, this is kind of like jig skirts that I was talking about. You can get as many as you want, you can go as crazy as you want. I like to keep it kind of simple, so we got like, I got a bunch more than this, but this is what we're gonna use to make the, the baits today. Got some gold holographics, some blue pearl highlight, and some black, you know, pretty simple. And of course, uh, a little bit of white pearl as well. Um, also some green pumpkin brown, green pumpkin green, and then scent. Scent is optional. I'm gonna bake some scent into these guys today. Um, this is hog sauce, which means it catches hogs, apparently, and grape shad. For all those purple grape shads in the lake that you wanna imitate, we're gonna use grape shad. Another must, um, good, High quality Pyrax, Pyrax, Pyrex glass. And this is actually a knockoff brand, Anchor, but it's one I've used in the past. Gotta have a good glass material to melt this stuff in. A spoon for stirring in for precise measurements of uh, just about right um, amounts of the uh, the highlight glitter and all that stuff. Um, this one right here is very, very important. This is an infrared heat gun. We're gonna want to pour these plastics about 350 degrees and, and finding that sweet spot between burning and not done enough to get the right consistency is very, very vital. This guy right here, you can point it at whatever material and it gives you an instant temperature reading, which is super important. Of course, if we're gonna pour soft plastic baits, you're gonna have to have molds. Here's two molds. We're gonna use about six or seven today, I think actually. Um, swim bait mold, just like this. Basically, they've got little guides that go together and then there's a hole right there on the side. So we're gonna stick our injector right in there. Um, as you force it in, this right here is actually where the air escapes. Um, which allows it to fill the mold. As shitty as microwave that works as possible is what I do. This is a spare one we actually had in the garage, um, but microwave is gonna be absolutely key. And then clamps. This is something I didn't have previously, but when I went to do it, they showed me that this is very, very important. I've got a couple different sizes of clamps. We've got four in total, and uh, you'll see in just a second why we need these clamps. Now, before we get started, one more very important safety tip, always have proper ventilation. This plastic saw from Do It Molds uh, is actually very, very safe, um, unlike a lot on the market, so you don't need a ton of ventilation. I would suggest doing it outdoors in the garage with the garage door open or something. We got both windows open. We got a fan going right back there. So some of the background noise probably is, so sorry about that. And then, uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be plenty today because we're not gonna pour very much, but especially if you're gonna have long pouring sessions. Some people use a mask, a respirator. Um, I would recommend that. I'm not very smart, so we're just gonna do like some windows open and a fan ventilation system. And uh, yeah, let's start pouring some stuff. So before we get started, very important, that the plastic saw is very, very shaken up. If not, um, you're gonna have some serious problems with the density of the plastic. So we're just gonna shake this some bitch for like several minutes. We'll see you guys in several minutes. All right, we've been shaking the plastic saw for what seems like about 72 hours. So we're just gonna take our Pyrex right here. We got the plastic saw right over the edge, leaned over the edge. Of course, if you have a smaller container, a lot of them are poor containers too. And what you can see is down below, we have a, a little area that can, uh, that can catch the, the plastic if it does run over a little plastic salt um, on the carpet would not be a good thing so we're not going to do that today we're just going to let it rip 
fill her up, you bet, huh? Yep, yep, that's nice. All right, so before we put this in the microwave, we are going to add some colorations. We got to color just right, we're gonna stir it up real nice, and then we're gonna heat it up, and that's gonna be in like one minute increments. You'll see how that goes in just a second. All right, green pumpkin greens going in first. I'm kind of wanting this to be a little bit more of a green color than like a, a real brown type color. Pour a little bit of that guy in, and we don't want too much of it in there actually because it needs to be a little bit see-through otherwise that glitter is not going to stand out so we're going to put a little bit of green pumpkin brown in there now mix that up and see what it looks like like i told you guys i haven't done this a whole lot and that's uh that's probably be more brown than i want it to be but hey we're going to have our own brownish flip and bake color which is the bad thing either all right we got that in there let's add some glitter I want quite a bit of glitter in this, so we're gonna add some uh, some holographic gold, black. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to add some hog sauce, so it smells like hog sauce, and hogs eat it. All right, that actually doesn't look bad at all. I kind of like the way that that turned out. It looks right there. Kind of tough to see with the light, but let's uh let's dump it in there. Let's get this heated up in the microwave. We're gonna start with one minute, and then we're gonna go from there. We want this to get to about 350 degrees, but we cannot overheat this and have it smoking. That's actually a really cool color. This is gonna look pretty cool, I think. So we'll put a dead center in the microwave. Start with one minute. And we wait, get our molds ready. So while that's doing that, we're, we're gonna wanna, I think since we're doing like a green pumpkin-y gold type color, we probably don't wanna do like swim baits. You can make swim baits, you know, that's a good like swim bait, swim jig trailer type color. I think we're gonna do like some uh, some flipping baits, like this flapping hog right here. That's a cool one I got from Do It. Um, yeah, I got two of those. Since it only makes one bait at a time once it's put together, we can do two at a time if we clamp those together and then shoot them in. You'll see what I'm talking about. And let's do a drop shot bait. That'll be a good color for a drop shot bait right there. Now look at this guy, I'm super jacked at this guy. Let's do some 10 inch worms in this color as well. It's gonna be a good natural flipping type type style color but it might get bit i'm not gonna lie all right one minute uh this is where the uh the infrared gun comes in real handy yeah it's only 165 we want it to get to about 350 and so we're gonna put this in for about one more minute and that should do it for us all right we've been in for about two and a half minutes now i need to be a little bit more careful i'm being kind of stupid here but we need to see if that's close hopefully it's close to 350 and that's what Brennan from doing molds told me to pour at and it's only Two minutes, we're at 293. He said to stir it up and then get a good measurement on it. 312. So we're gonna put it in there for 30 more seconds and then we'll be ready to run. While that's going, we're gonna I'll show you what we need the clamps for. So we're gonna take some of these guys right here. We're gonna clamp them tightly so they are gonna be ready to freaking go. Alright, 330, Brennan said 325, 330 is acceptable. We definitely don't want to keep putting it in there and burning it. So here's what we're going to do next. Two different ways to do this. You can you can pull it up with the injector and draw it up. Uh, Brennan said he likes, since Brennan works for Do It, I'm going to do what he likes to do, but you can actually pour it into the injector just like so. So we're slowly and carefully going to pour it in. Like I said, this stuff is over 300 degrees. It's insanely hot. Do not mess around with it. Don't take any chances. It's not even worth it. When it gets about I don't know, close to an inch from the top. We're gonna cut it off, put that guy up there, nozzle on. We're gonna shoot a little bit of this off to the side. There we go. And we're gonna firmly push down until it gets pressure back. And we're gonna shoot a little bit extra there. All right, it's been a couple minutes now. I think it's time for the big reveal. As you can see, when we look in these guys right here, it definitely sucked down in. So that's why you give it that little bit of extra plastic shot in at the very end. Otherwise it'll suck down and your mold won't fill up. Uh, your bait won't be completely filled out. So let's do the big reveal right here. Not guaranteeing this actually worked that well uh, because I haven't done this a whole lot. I'm definitely no expert by any means. All right, let's see how she looks. Oh yeah. This is that flipping bait right here. Definitely pretty cool looking bait. I like it. Very, very soft right now. So we definitely need to let him dry out a little bit. Of course, it doesn't have any salt in it, so we're gonna need this to be like a Texas rig bait. We're rig weightless, it's just gonna float up. But that's gonna be kind of cool because it's gonna have this tail that flaps on the back right there. But yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll use a, a link to this mold down below if you guys wanna pick this one up. This is one of the coolest flipping bait beaver with some action style molds that uh, I found on the Do It Molds website. This one is the dropping shot mold. Five of them at a time, which I am super, super jacked about. They all turned out really, really good. Again, we're gonna let these kind of dry for a little bit they're nice and soft they're probably gonna have a nice floating type action to them this is like the jackal crosstail shad something similar to that this is 
what one of these looks like. And I'll kind of show you a little bit later, but it has a nice little tail type design. It's flat on the bottom, so it's gonna sit really parallel. It's gonna be a perfect looking drop shot style bait. And let's check out the 10 inch worm and see how he turned out. Just how we wanted to, this guy already flopped out a little bit. But let's pull him completely out. Badass. That's what I'm talking about right there. You guys know I throw the 10 inch and the seven inch worm a whole lot. Now I can make my own. That's a sick looking mold. That's a really, really big wide tail. It's definitely gonna displace some water. So super jacked. I also got the, I got the plum coloration. I got some blue flex type, type stuff. So you know I love to throw the magic worm in blue flex. That's gonna be pretty sick right there. Boom. Okay, my friends, let's make another color. This one's gonna be a little bit more of a bait fish, bait ship, bait fish style color. We're gonna make it kind of pearly. Um, first off, of course, you, you wanna wash this pretty well, your Pyrex, so you don't have a lot of leftover. Um, I'm, I'm kind of being lazy and trying to get this video done within a couple hours. It's best to get more than one Pyrex, but apparently I broke my other one, so I didn't wanna use it today. I washed it off pretty good, but here we go. Let's fill this guy back up. We are gonna make this more of a white color. I know you see it's already white, but you actually have to add some white, otherwise it just turns out to be kind of a, a milky clear type color. And, and some clear colors is not a bad thing necessarily. This is pearl. We're gonna throw some of this in. This is gonna be really cool. This is hyper highlight blue, and you'll see what this does. It'll give it a nice blue shimmer. And then once again, let's add some gold to this guy. Holographic gold that is. Just a little bit of black, just to give it a little bit of texture. The old grape shad. All right, well, that guy's the mic. Let me show you what we're using um, for molds this time. Um, let's see, we got, we, we might use this. If we got enough, we'll also make a bait fish color and this drop shot style bait again. And check these guys out. These are all gonna be like Kitex style swim baits. This is a six inch bait. This is called the six inch ripper. It just became available. Um, I think it's gonna be awesome for like A rigs, um, single hook swim bait hooks and stuff like that. Hopefully catch a freaking trophy on it when I go somewhere tomorrow. Um, then we got this same smaller size ripper. We got three of these guys in the three and a half inch size and then uh, two of them in the four inch size. So we're gonna pour in all, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and potentially seven of these guys. All right, time for the big reveal, I suppose. These have been sitting once again a couple minutes. That little ripper swim bait, three and a half inch. Yeah, bud. Check out that guy. That is a cool looking color. I'll try to get some shots up close of it too. Three and a half, four. So, oh, look at this dude. Big sexiness right there. Plastic on the inside is still like gelatinous, so we're gonna give him some time to uh, firm up a little bit, but that guy is a big, nasty dude that's gonna catch, I'll dig it. Check out how the drop shot baits look. Oh yeah, these guys look awesome. Which by the way, I said it makes five at a time. It makes 10, 10 baits at a time, badass. A couple of them didn't get finished all the way through, but these definitely did. That is gonna be a cool little bait fish imitating color. That's one color we're gonna have to hold on to. All right guys, that is it. Basically letting those baits set up is gonna be the last part of the process. I have like 25 other different molds to make, um, all different types of stuff and, and a ton of different colors. We can put salt in and stuff like that. We can do all different types of scents and I'm, I'm just ex super excited to see where this can go. One thing I'd love if you do, if you like this video, please go subscribe to Melican Fishing because there's gonna be way more of these tackle making videos and that's something I'd also like you to comment down below. Comment if you wanna see more, you know, looking around the YouTube, there is some good videos on how to make soft plastic fishing lures, but like all the major channels, like the viral videos of making baits, it always seems like it's like dollar store fishing challenge where you make some damn bait out of a cork and a bottle cap or some shit. So I was like, why not just make videos where you can actually go out and make some baits to go bass fish and catch fish on them. And not even just bass fish, these swim baits will catch all different types of fish. So I definitely wanted to make some videos like this. If you have any questions about my process, what I did, I'm sure I left a bunch of stuff out, but this is the basics of how to go out and start making your own soft plastic fishing lures. But thank you so much, Mappers, for watching this video. I'll catch you very soon, I'm out of here. I'm not sorry, I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine.